the other. Philly's better than Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's better than Philly. The sports team is better than the other sports team. I mean, need I remind everybody that the Eagles and the Steelers were one team at one point? The Steagles? Clearly that did not work out well. Because as the sibling state, if we came together, what would we have to argue about? I guess I know people in the comments are gonna be like, it is better than the other. Okay, Becky, go off. Sheets is better than Wawa, Wawa's better than Sheets. Meanwhile, there's the forgotten middle child, Rudders, just wondering why they're even here. It's giving lost child energy, AKA Central PA, which by the way, is one of the most underrated regions of the state. But you know, what do I know? Oh my gosh, we love it. Today is National Pennsylvania Day, and what better way to celebrate that with, than with a content creator who focuses solely on Pennsylvania. We're so happy to have Kat Janisco here with us today. Thank you for having thank me. You. Your, your videos are so much fun. Oh, thank you. Even I that one, too. The Central PA. I mean, really. The Central PA is the best. It's the most underrated region. Like, people can fight me on it. <laughs> it's so amazing. <laughs> well, and you spend some time in yes. Central PA. I spent a lot of time there. My brother and sister-in-law just moved there too. So they have this like big land out there and it's like, oh, this is the best. Now I get like, a, I have even more of a reason to move, like go out there and visit. So tell us a little bit about yourself and how you really started this whole platform focused on PA. It wasn't even supposed to happen. Yeah. It was back in 2018. I um, just used this trending audio on TikTok and TikTok was a thing then, like it just started. Yeah. Um, it really ramped up in 2020, but in 2018 there was this trending audio and it was like, Pennsylvania check and everybody was using it. And I was like, oh my God, I love PA. I've loved PA for so long. I'm such a nerd about it. I'll use this audio and see what happens. And like told people I'm in Philly. And these people came in drones right. in the comment section. They're like, I'm from this county, from this township, from the city. And I was like, oh my God, my PA nerdy heart was they all came I out. I was like, well, I can't believe this. This is crazy. How many people love PA? I thought I was like the only nerd so, around. So then it just kind of like exploded and you started the Pennsylvania Junkie. That's your handle. Yes. Yeah, Pennsylvania Junkie. I don't even know how that, because I started on TikTok with like my beauty. I had a cosmetics line at that time. Yeah. And I was like looking to, oh yeah, there's Gettysburg. Um, this is out in Huntington County. Beautiful, the overlooks. We have so much beautiful nature. We um, really do. But yeah, that we. I was at the governor last week. <laughs> So you're everywhere. <laughs> it's the most <laughs> random. There's like Knock a Mix in, in Bucks County, which is like in the southeastern region of PA. But yeah, it's it's so much fun getting to go around and I get to do this now. It's like a source of income on its own. So that's been pretty cool. And I'm really grateful to the PA junkies for supporting and well, all of the good things. And you love it. I mean, you can see your passion for the state and where you yes. live. Um, what do you think is one of the most interesting things that you've learned about Pennsylvania and doing this? Oh my God, oh my God, what isn't interesting about Pennsylvania? I don't know, I guess just like the little shops and the little businesses yeah. and like the little gems that you don't know about the towns, like the towns are really cute. And when I moved to Southeastern PA from Central PA, like I was born and raised in Western, went to school in Central Penn State and I've lived in Southeastern, like I told you for like the last almost 10 years now, I think it's actually been over 10 years, but it's like those little towns, the historical towns, they're super haunted. Like there's a lot going there's on. So much history. Great eateries. Yeah, I, that that was like wow. Because I I grew up in Johnstown, so the only thing we really had was you know going to Ligonier. Like that was our thing, and Ligonier's historic, so cute, right? beautiful, right? <laughs> but we didn't have a lot of that around. So when I moved to Southeastern PA, I got a big dose of that. It's been fun. It's been a lot of fun, and yeah. it's fun to watch your videos too. So because you've been all over the state, do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite region? Yes. I, I, I don't want to say favorite. I'm so happy to be back, back in Pittsburgh, by the way. I like, Are you? When I roll that? through the city, I just like, oh, I'm just like, oh my gosh. I know, it's so I just, nice. It feels so nice. I don't know. You guys might be talking, maybe you can't relate. No, we, I love Pittsburgh. I mean, this I is my home. It. So being yes. here is, it's comfort. It does. It me. feels like that. And yeah. I, I wasn't born and raised in Pittsburgh, but I do love coming back west. I think it's important for, you know, my own little healing journey. And Central PA is amazing. There's like, this is called Airydale Retreat, this video. And they had, it's a glamping retreat out in central PA. I will oh, not camp, but I will no, glamp. No, it's, I will yeah. glamp, absolutely. So yeah, my little bougie heart has to, you know, we got to keep it in check, but it's so peaceful out there. It's so fun. Have um, you met new people too? Cause I have to imagine this has taken you on a journey you never expected. I've like the PA junkies are amazing too. They're from all over the Commonwealth, all over the country. Some are from all over the world. Like I've had people say, oh, I'm coming from Ireland and I'm connecting with you because my family's in PA now or I'm moving for a job. It's 
it's wild. So yeah, I've met a lot of new people. And I don't know about the Eagles, but I know in Pittsburgh, like if we leave Pittsburgh and we go anywhere else, you will see Steeler, Steeler. stuff or 412 shirts I'm or Steel you. City shirts. Like people want to represent that they're from this area. Absolutely. So. Like when I lived in Nashville, I studied music for a couple of years in Nashville. There were Steelers Nation was everywhere. 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 I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> it's the biggest fan base and the best fan base. Uh, I people, love it. I know you're going to stick around. You're going to do a little yes. quiz with us, but I also want to ask you too about this new series that you started. Oh, yeah. So tell me a little bit about this. The PA Pierogi Pilgrimage, y'all. If you love pierogi, you're going to love and who this does series. It? Oh, it's so good. I'm, my dad's side is Slovak and Polish of the family. My mom's Italian and Croatian. So we've got a little mix of the immigrant children. Um, but this is my look. Like, this is when I'm happiest, honestly, eating carbs and that are stuffed with mashed potatoes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, you know, Ray, If I don't know if he's over there still, but he just came from Kennywood oh. because the Slovak yes. Festival is happening at Kennywood. Amazing. He said the line for the food was longer than any roller coaster there. Oh, all the Holoski, so all the Holoski, the best. Before the you best. leave Pittsburgh, you got to hit up Kennywood today. I do, today. absolutely. Okay, so you're not going anywhere. Uh, yep. She is going to, Kat is going to put us to the test. Mary's coming yes. over. She's going to test our knowledge of Pennsylvania. We'll see how we do. That's coming up next.